hi welcome to another one of my youtube videos and today what i would like to do is show you how to help your locks develop a little faster they'll develop over time and sometimes we find that they're not uh, beating on the ends quick enough which will cause it to lock especially if you use the alternative um, locking technique and you have relaxer on the ends most people when they do the sister locks they leave the um, the lock the new growth to the scalp and then they'll leave the rest out and maybe put it on a perm rod style it you know different things like that or cut it off so if you use the alternative locking technique you can lock the hair completely down the shaft and you can just trim this off if you like it's your hair Caucasians can lock their hair and it's a little more difficult when you lock when you're locking uh, the hair of other races but it can be done and so if the hair can be locked and it is uh, straight naturally then if it is perm you can still lock it so there's no need to cut the ends off but you go ahead and use the alternative locking technique and lock the hair as much as you would like and the ends my ends, I intentionally left them out, but they're starting to um, lock finally. Certain ones are. They're starting to lock on the ends. As you can see, the, the little ball, the bud or the ball forms on the tips here. Now, when you do the hair, you come to the end here. Let's see if I can make sure I show it. I already have some product on my hair that I, I use, but you can use um, whatever product you like to use. Just a little gel on the end. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm really not going to let it stay. And then you take and double the hair back. So you can make a little loop over your finger, over your finger, and then start looping it around the hair here and then you can take your finger out of the loop and keep turning it the end you're turning the end back up the hair that you locked previously and you just keep wrapping it upward you're just twisting it around that's all you're doing I want you to see that and you see the little loop in here now you can either leave it like that or you can take your fingers and roll it back and forth and then roll it in one direction almost like a palm roll and that end is up in there and it'll lock quicker for you and so I'll do another one some of these ends, like these, as you can see, the hair I left loose, it's much thicker in here. Now, what's happening is this end is locking. It's already, to lock just means it's tangling. That's all it's doing. And so this end is locking, but this piece has not locked yet. And what it'll end up to lock, what it'll end up doing is finally getting tangled up and scrunch up. So what I'll do is, you can take just like I did before and put a little, this is a little gel. Make sure you have some moisturizer on the hair. I put the homemade hair cream on first. You don't want your hair dry. And then I just pick a spot along here where I want to go. To me, I'm going to come, since it's thick in here and kind of thin down here, I'm going to put my finger right here in the middle of it. And then I'm going to wrap this around my finger and on around the hair and then around again and when you're wrapping this because the hair is so these are small because the hair is so small thin it takes a bit longer to wrap it you can wrap in one place but you don't want to do that you want to wrap it up the hair shaft so that it looks natural and even there 
Remember what it looked like before. And then you come down to the end where that little ball was where I wrapped it, the, the loop was rather that I lapped, wrapped it around my finger and go back and forth and then in one direction. And that's it. That will lock much quicker than um, the way I was letting it go before. The, the other thing is if you use the alternative method, <clears throat> excuse me, use the alternative method, you come down the hair, take a, a fine tooth comb, a comb that has teeth that's really, really close together, and back comb it. Go from the tips of the hair towards the scalp and it will cause it to bunch up which you can do like what I'm doing now I'm doing it with my finger turn so you can see that and so you see where it bunched up right here and then you can take a little gel and the reason you're doing gel is because you want to kind of freeze it in, into place and so you just put a little gel on it don't don't um do not stroke down the hair shaft. You just back comb that and you want it to stay. So you just kind of lightly dab the gel. And then you take, just like you did the other hair, but you're going to take the loose hair from this and hold the tip and wrap it around. The loose hair from that which you just back comb, you can wrap it around. Now you can either wrap it or you can just take your two fingers on it. You'll have to start the wrap and then roll. Roll. You're just twisting it in one direction. And it's not real fuzzy fuzzy, but it's enough to now left in that state, it will go ahead and lock much quicker. Now, if you have um, hair that's, which it will do, it as it's trying to lock, it will frizz up and down this hair, the length of the uh, lock. And you can put, um, add a little, a lot of people use the beeswax, whatever product you use, the beeswax, add a little um, gel to it, just lightly put it down the hair shaft and just palm roll it. This back and forth action that you're doing is making it tangle into itself on a nice even tilt nice nice and even you just go back and forth and you you're pressing your hands together the palms of your hands together and you're just rolling it back and forth now when you're doing um that's how you do for the frizzy stuff or you can just take some gel and wrap it around like we like I showed you with the ends the regular palm rolling to get a lock is, is slightly different than that but for this to get rid of the frizzy frizz and it frizzes like it will frizz like that almost every time you shampoo your hair until it starts to lock down um, the fray pieces will lock down into place the only other way that I know other than wrapping it around and doing the palm rolling technique is that you can take some shears and nip away or um, the little trimmers that they use for the mustache or the uh, edging the little cheap ones not the expensive ones and and run it up or down the hair shaft you have to make sure you don't go tilt the clippers or the trimmer into the hair otherwise it'll cut your lock off so thank you for joining me until next time <music>